Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be on this look without these faces. So let's get started. Now the first product I'm using is a Fierce Foil Eye Shine from Milani called Milan. And I'm pretty much just going to be focusing this product on my eyelids. And it's really creamy, so you don't need any tools. The best thing to do is just use your fingers. Then I'm gonna go into this Too Faced palette and use the eyeshadow called Mocha and just to concentrate that into the crease. The next color I'm picking up is called Malted. It's from the same palette and I'm just gonna go right back into the crease but really concentrating on the outer V just to really create a smoky look and continue that on the other side as well. Then you're gonna grab a clean fluffy brush to make sure that we buff out any of the sharp lines. Speaking of sharp lines, I'm using this eyeliner from Milani as well. And as I am getting started, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to be the first to know when I upload new videos. Up next is this product called the Pro Sculpting Palette from Makeup Forever. And I know this particular shade is super light, but it's gonna be going underneath my foundation. I just need a little bit of brightening and color correcting for my bags that are getting crazy underneath my eyes. This one is the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay, and it is in the shade 5.5. And I'm actually on my end of this pull too, which is kind of sad because I really do like it, but it is forcing me to bring out some oldie but goodie foundation, so that's always fun. And now as you can see here, I'm trying to blend in the color my lash line because I didn't want it to be too bright because it did tend to look a little bit white there. Then taking a gel eyeliner in black, this particular one is from the Infallible line from L'Oreal Paris. Now to give a little bit of love to my eyelashes, this is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics, and it's really thin compared to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that I usually wear, but I did want my eyelashes to be nice and thin and spread apart for this particular look, and because of the lashes that I'm using. Now these ones here are the ones that I've used over and over and over again from Shop Violet Voss. And I think I'm saying that right. If you look them up on Instagram, it's Shop Violet Boss. And these are the girls just want to have fun or something like that. Something along the lines of that. Then moving back to that contour palette from Make It Forever, I'm going to start um, really defining the place on my face, like the bridge of my nose, just trying to make that guy a little bit smaller. Also on my forehead, my cheeks and anywhere else that I need a little bit of shadow. Now these shadows are really important, especially if you have a round face from eating a bunch of ice cream the night before. <laughs> I'm gonna take out this um, HD concealer from Forever, or Make It Forever, I was gonna say Forever 21, from Make It Forever, and place that on all the high points like my cheekbones, my chin, and my forehead. Taking my nice little beauty blender and blending out all the light stuff, all the concealer, making sure that I don't run over any parts that have the brown or my um, definition, just because you don't wanna dirty the sponge, you're gonna end up making a mess on your face. Now I'm starting to add these particular lines just because it enhances the shape of my lips without getting injections. Then taking a small beauty blender and really blending out those lines around my mouth and on the bridge of my nose. Just because using a bigger fluffy brush that I tend to use for the rest of my face is too big and it just makes a mess. I don't want a brown nose, I want a shaped and chiseled nose. So hopefully that makes sense. Now to add a little bit of color, I'm using this Hypnus blush from MAC, and this is limited edition, the packaging is anyhow. I'm not sure if it's um, a permanent choice in their collection, but I know the packaging is definitely um, limited, and it's a really pretty subtle apple-y red color, so I really like it. 
and I just feel like it'll look good on anybody. And then Too Faced Soleil Bronzer, which is one of my favorites just because it smells like chocolates and now that, you know, I'm allergic, pretty much allergic to sugar. I can't really have it in my life in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be dusting this and setting that cream powder or that cream product, I should say. Now to take our cheeks up one, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar Illuminator and dusting that onto my cheeks, onto the bridge of my nose. This is perfect for your brow bones and also your cupid's bow. To set the rest of your face and skip the, you know, the baking part, I'm just gonna take this really nice fluffy brush and really pack on that Kat Von D banana powder that comes in her light and shade palette. I love this technique lately. It's just so that my whole face doesn't feel like a powdered donut. I really like just concentrating that powder heavily on places that need it. Now I'm using a natural lip liner from NYX and just covering my lips and overlining where I need it. And then throwing on a coat of this never ending net bleh, never ending nutmeg from L'Oreal Paris. And to be honest with you, I liked it before I added the shine. So it's probably I'm probably gonna just use it as a matte shade and not add the shine. And of course you can use whatever you want and just sing it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Now before you go, don't forget to check out the video I did with Refinery29. Click here to watch the video and don't forget to subscribe. And yes, I'm crying, so click the video to find out why.